Welcome to Watch Symposium, I'm Austin. All right, so just doing a bit of cooking with my Vostok, heating up some water right now. It's the 22nd of June, 1 11 in the afternoon. And I have here one of my wife's older pots. I think she'd freak out if she uh, knew I was doing a little bit of uh, cooking, Vostok cooking with uh, one of her good pots. So. Okay, the Vostok did really well in the cold, but how would it do in a uh, warm situation, I'll put it. Well, hey, let's just be frank about it. A hot, boiling situation. Um, <clears throat> now, one of my viewers, Jimmy Split, well, he said I should leave it in for an hour. Uh, I think that's a bit too much, but um, I'm thinking maybe... Oh, I don't know. A minute? I think a minute's respectable. The thing is, this is not really a real-world test. I mean, it's bordering on abuse. I mean, this is not something that a watch on the wrist is ever going to experience. But, you know, it would possibly experience extreme heat. Uh, and uh, probably not this extreme, but I suppose, you know, you take it off and you leave it in the desert uh, while you're in your air-conditioned... Uh, SUV and, and, you know, that, that could be a situation of intense heat. Anyway, I think we're ready. All right, Vostok, any last words? This might be the last time we have a chance to speak. Uh, you've been a pretty decent watch. You've gained my respect. Uh, this might be uh, the day we have to say goodbye, if so. And yeah, thanks for stopping by. I did enjoy wearing you. Um, all right, here it goes. I really hope that crystal does not explode. I'm hearing cracking. Who knows, this could be really dangerous what I'm doing. Whoa. I'm, I'm hearing cracking. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. All right. It lives. It lives indeed. Vostok, you've come out on the other side of this and I couldn't be happier. You are surely gaining my respect. All right. Um, test two, I would say, is a success and uh, passed with, with flying colors. I'm going to let this thing cool off. We'll take a look at it. Take a look at the crystal. That's what I'm really interested in, but uh, it's running. All right, that is a hot Vostok. Yeah, that is, that's really hot. I can't even touch it now. But it looks great. Who needs an ultrasonic cleaner? It's still hot. Crystal's not melted or anything. I was just checking that. All right, so it's cooled off and it appears no worse for wear. It survived it and you wouldn't have if this had been on your wrist, you would have perished, but the watch would have kept on ticking. So, you know, if a, if a watch can outlast an extreme situation uh, over its owner, I think we can say that's a successful outcome. What's next for it? Let me know in the comments section. Take care. Thanks for watching. See you next time.